Monotremes Monotremes, like other mammals, are covered in fur and lactate in order to feed their young. Unlike other mammals, they will lay eggs instead of giving birth to live young. The platypus. The platypus is also known as the duckbill platypus. They are semi-aquatic and are one of the only egg-laying mammals. They are native to eastern Australia. When European naturalists first encountered this animal, it was believed to be a hoax. It was believed to be a hoax due to it being an egg-laying, duck-billed, beaver-tailed, otter-footed mammal, and this confused many people. Both their body and their broad flat tail are covered with dense brown fur. Their fur is designed to insulate air to keep itself warm. Not only is it designed to insulate, but is also waterproof. They have web feet and large rubbery snout, of which features are closer to the duck than any other mammal. Weight varies depending mostly on gender, with males typically being larger than females. Weight varies from 0.7 kilograms to 2.4 kilograms, and length varies from 50 centimetres and 43 centimetres. They will usually have a body temperature of 32 degrees Celsius. Both male and females are born with a spur, but only the male produces venom and is believed to produce more during the breeding season, so they will use it to show dominance. Although powerful enough to kill smaller animals such as dogs, the venom is not harmful to humans. They use their venom in defence. Electrolocation Monotremes are the only mammals, apart from one species of dolphin, that locate their prey by detecting electric fields. The platypus hunts without sight or smell, closing its ears, eyes, nose whenever it dives. It will detect electric current generated by the muscular contraction of its prey. The platypus is semi-aquatic and will inhabit small streams, sand rivers. In captivity, they have been known to reach the age of 17 and in the wild can reach the age of about 11 years old. They will prey upon snakes, water racks, gonas, hawks, eagles and owls. There are low numbers of platypuses in Australia. This is believed to be due to predation by crocodiles. The platypus is generally nocturnal. The duckbill platypus is usually solitary, especially males. If males' territories overlap, they will change their foraging time to avoid each other. They are great swimmers and will spend lots of its time in water looking for food. Their dives will only last around 30 seconds and recovery when out of the water lasts between 10 and 20 seconds. The platypus will sleep for around 14 hours a day.
The platypus is a carnival, feeding on worms, insect larva, freshwater shrimp and freshwater yabby. It will use its cheek pouches to hold its food and will go to the surface where they will eat. The platypus eats approximately 20% of its body weight and will spend up to 12 hours searching for food. Mating is seasonal and will vary depending on population. Male and females will touch each other as they swim past one another. The male grabs the tail of the female with his bill and if the female is unwilling she will try to escape by swimming through obstacles until they are set free. If the female lets the male do this she will swim near him and allow him to grab onto her tail. The platypus is one of the few mammals to lay eggs. It is believed that they have a gestation period of approximately 27 days and an incubation period of 10 days. Their young will live in burrows to protect and nurse them. The platypus has no stomach. Instead of having a stomach, both their esophagus and intestine join. The theory is that over the years they got used to their diet and it simply doesn't include any items which need complex digestion. Short-beaked echidna. The short-beaked echidna is a member of the group Monotremes, a group of egg-laying mammals. The short-beaked echidna is covered in fur and spines. Some of their most distinctive features are their snout and their tongue, which they use to catch their prey at great speeds. They have very strong front limbs and claws, which it uses to burrow quickly with great power. It has a significant tolerance of high levels of carbon dioxide and low levels of oxygen. This is because they live a large amount of their lives underground. During the winter months, they will hide hibernate, reducing its metabolism to save energy. As the temperature increases, they will emerge to begin mating. Females will lay one egg per year, and mating time is the only time when this species is not solitary. Their young will be the size of a grape, but will grow rapidly with its mother's milk, which is rich in nutrients. The short-beaked echidna has a courtship period between June and August that can last between a few days and several weeks depending on its habitat and range. Several males will seek females in this time. Females will only mate with one male per mating season. They have a gestation period of about 23 days after which the female will usually lay one single egg in their pouch for incubation. These eggs will hatch 10 or 11 days later. When the young leave, leave their mother's pouch they will be covered in spines. Young will reach adult size at 3 to 5 years old. Their diet consists mainly of invertebrates, including beetles, spiders, worms, insect eggs and termites, which they will catch with their long tongue. The short-beaked echidna is found throughout Australia and New Guinea. The short-beaked echidna is not threatened with extinction, but is threatened by hunting and habitat destruction. Western long beaked echidna. The western long beaked echidna is found on the Bird's Head Peninsula and Foja Mountains of West Papua and Indonesia. 
They are typically found at elevations of 1,300 to 4,000 metres and will not be found in southern lowlands or the north coast. Its preferred habitat is alpine meadows and humid montane forests. They primarily diet on worms and they are larger than the short beaked echidna and can reach a weight of 16.5 kilograms. This species is currently listed as critically endangered. Their numbers have been decreasing due to human activities such as hunting and habitat loss. The long beaked echidna is thought of as a delicacy and although commercial hunting is banned by the Indonesian and Papua New Guinea government, traditional hunting is still legal. Steropodon. The Steropodon is a prehistoric species of the monotremes. They lived during the Albion stage about 105 million years ago in the Lower Cretaceous period. It is a large being 40 to 50 centimetres in length and having lower molars which are 5 to 7 millimetres in length and a width of 3.4 millimetres. The Steropodon was discovered in New South Wales, Australia by brothers Davis and Alan Goldman. There is not much information on the Steropodon because it is a prehistoric species.